start vlogging at the worst time sometimes. I thought I looked okay. <laughs> Not in this light, I don't. Yeah, no makeup face. And my hair looks super dark. Um, I actually had it dyed, God, when was it? Maybe two or three days ago. I'll show you it down. So obviously I've kept the blonde, but it's very dark, which I am actually really enjoying. And it's super shiny. I didn't bleach the blonde anymore because it's had plenty of bleach on it in previous months. Feel. Um, it doesn't feel dry, so I want to try and keep it to that, but just darken the roots. Anyway, I've not introduced this vlog and yeah, typical me. Um, I've been watching a bit of YouTube today and as always, it made me want to pick up my camera and just start vlogging. So my plan is to do a little bit of a week in my life vlog. Doing a daily vlog is never going to happen. Like, I don't do that many interesting things in a day. If you're at work all the time, what's there to film? So yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of a weekly vlog and I don't know how many things I've got planned this week but there's been some pretty major things going on in my life recently like having an offer accepted on a house so we're going to be moving um, in the very near future which is very exciting, very daunting, stressful, all the emotions, really excited and maybe I could do a little bit of kind of um I don't know behind the scenes kind of vloggy stuff to do with that um also i've today just paid for my first market stall so i've been prepping stock a little bit for that as well um that's going to be in about a month's time just over a month so i've got a bit of time to prep that i've been making a few kind of like halloween themed like earrings and wreaths and things like that so i'm really i've got the bug for it now make a bit more stock um and yeah, just practice seeing what it'd actually look like on a stall in an actual real market. I'm so excited. I'm so, so glad they reached out to me to ask if I wanted to do it because um, I've only like applied for a couple before and then I ended up doing them. So, so yeah, I'm super excited for that. And um, I'll make a little video about preparing for a market or how the market goes. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not gonna commit to too much because I know I say that I'm gonna do things on YouTube and then it just never, never happens. Kind of like, yeah, I'm back doing videos and then six months later, I bring another video out. <laughs> like legit is what goes on in my life. I have bags for days and I've not put any makeup on today because I've been feeling really rough actually. We went out for a meal and I'm fairly sure that I had gluten at some point in my meal because well if for those of you who don't know i'm a celiac so i have celiac disease which is a medical condition and um basically i have to have everything gluten free it kind of damages your intestines which isn't good um, obviously they recover but you kind of you are doing damage to your body um and i'm really really careful normally but i've had quite bad stomach pain today uh, on and off and quite gripey sort of pain but yeah, I'm trying to get on with it the best I can and I've been trying to at least enjoy a little bit of crafting and just try and take my mind off it really. I'll show you things that I've done recently. Maybe I'll kick this vlog off with that. Although I've already been rambling three minutes, so we'll see. I'm going to vlog properly over the next few days, but on the note of things that I've made recently, um, I wanted to show you guys something that I've constructed. So we absolutely love watching um, Making the Core and Project Runway and all all the kind of very fashion um, orientated programs basically. Next in Fashion was great. There's, there's loads, isn't there? Um, and we borrowed my sister's sewing machine. Eddie's having much more of a success with it than me. He's in the middle of making his second shirt, <laughs> which is really impressive. But one of the first things I did um, after making a couple of collars, which are on there, which maybe I'll show another time, um, I decided to deconstruct hold on if it'll focus, um, a couple of t-shirts that I never wear that are quite, um, they were getting quite tight and basically I think I got these in the men's section in, I don't know, maybe Stradivarius, maybe, in fact I think it might have been Bershka and basically I, I, I really liked them and they were in the men's section, I was like they're cool but I never wear them anymore and I just thought why not try something a bit fun, um, I'd seen people make 
a sweatshirt out of like two sweatshirts and done like bang in the middle but I thought doing this way was kind of cool because the space on the second t-shirt here um where your head would normally be it's just kind of like a little off the shoulder kind of moment so I quite like it I mean I need to finish this bit I don't know what I've done there I've not finished it well but um yeah, maybe reconstructing things that I no longer wear is going to be my jam. I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. <laughs> Morning. Right, quick one. Um, I just thought I'd show you my little outfit of the day before I head out to work. Flip you around. I'm wearing some jean shorts, which I didn't know I could get on these. I really like the length of them. Turn my legs. So feeling good about my legs at the minute. And yeah, just paired it with this monkey... Um, kind of sweatshirt that it's a bit cloud like but not sure what bag but I bought this the other day I'm getting here <laughs> chaos Um I might wear this little it's like a little bubble bag it's very cute <laughs> catch you all later I've got a full work day ahead bye hi everyone I've spoken to the camera for a little while Um I am currently on my way to Middle Hall for a really exciting appointment with Dermalogica they've actually opened a um, stand um, where they do treatments, obviously they've got the products there and stuff and they've invited me for a complimentary little 30 minute intense treatment so I'm really really excited for that and uh, I've got time to do a bit of shopping before pick up of a day so far <laughs> but I'm finally here and i um, very excited so I've got my uh, sporty, my blue mask, so fashionable <laughs> but yeah, um, maybe I'll show you a little bit around and if I get anything today alright, chat a bit, bye! Okay, so hopefully you can hear me. I've um, not vlogged at all yet because Medahol is hellish, it's so busy, it's unreal. Um, but I'm in TK Maxx. Look at this leather jacket, it's a diesel leather jacket. It should have been something like 500 quid and it's under 100. I think I might have to get this. It's a little bit tight but fine with a slim layer so. I'm kind of not in the market for leather, but I am because mine's got a little bit of wear. So I think it'll be something that I wear a lot and worth the investment. Just to give you an idea, this is how busy it is. I feel like that's pretty busy, I don't know, it never looks as busy on camera as you think really. Another really cool reason to come to Meadow Hall is that they actually have some of the bears of Sheffield. I walked past this one earlier, but I just thought I'd show you guys again. So cool! How cool is that guy? I mean, I'd say the majority like are in town, but you do see them dotted around other places in uh, Meadow Hall, so that's pretty cool. So I'm just off to my dermatological appointment now. Um, I'm very, very excited to see what that will entail because my skin needs hydration right now. It's not happy and um, I keep getting loads of mass me with the mass situation, so I'll take you with me. So this is a dermatological stand. It's very, very new to Meadow Hall. Not being in Meadow Hall for a long time, as I said earlier, but um, I absolutely love Dermalogica's products. So it's so great to come today and get to try a few things out. I think they've got a, new, a few new products as well that I've not tried, so lots to ask about. I do have a really cute area here that you can come and chill out, listen to some music, get in the zone before you have a treatment, which is over there in the other main, main area. But yeah, seems like a really cool little space. Um, Say in a very busy mall area, but um, hopefully it'll work. I'll let you know what I have done. Hello, this is becoming quite a theme. Me sat in my um, studio attic with no makeup on. <laughs> I didn't really vlog after going for my treatment, but it was brilliant. I cannot recommend enough. Um, Dermatological product products are great, really good. And I've actually um, came home another package from them and it's their biolum c gel moisturizer and yeah it's a gel it's pretty cool so got in it five types of hyaluronic acid vitamin c complex plant-based squirrel squirreline i don't know what that is and verbiscum thapsus flower extract anyway it's all there not very good at um explain it 
but yeah i've just put a little bit on and my skin feels incredible i mean to be fair it feels great after the facial that i had earlier if you fancy seeing a little video about um going to dermalogica today i've put an igtv up i've been editing that since i got home basically um and yeah i'm just gonna have a chill couple of hours and i've done all my skin care that i need to do Not a lot more to report. I will see you tomorrow. I also just thought I'd show you that I've started my own little bear. Um, basically in Sheffield. In fact, I vlogged it already today. Um, I showed you a bear in my hole, didn't I? Basically, Sheffield has bears of Sheffield right now. And created by loads of different artists. And very talented people. Local people. So I bought my own little one to decorate. And I've done a little owl on the front so far. And I've done an owl on the back and a tree. So I'm going to carry on with this soon when I have a bit of free time. Whenever that'll happen. But yeah, I'm enjoying doing him. And uh, I can't wait to see other people's decorated actually. I hope, um, hope people are, you know, buying them and donating to the Sheffield Children's Hospital and all that malarkey. Because they're a, such a good idea.